Hello YouTubers, I just want to give you an update on my latest project with the AD9833 function generator. Um, <coughs> so I've got this little um, Arduino sketch running. Uh, I I won't try to explain the code because um, I just copied and pasted it. I I don't fully understand it myself yet. This is just an uh, introduction. Um. Anyway, this is the serial output screen. You get these different op different options for setting frequency. Um. As you can see, frequency frequency modulation phase um, so just just simply I'll enter um, sorry the focus is not brilliant so let's say for example I enter 500 Hertz press return <coughs> now if we look at the uh, The oscilloscope here, yeah, just put it on auto set. You can see there 500 hertz, got a nice steady waveform sine wave there, and it's like just under 2 volts peak to peak. Um, <coughs> And uh, you just easily set that again. This is just a test program, you know, like it's just the first stages. So let, let's set it to, um, yeah, so it's uh, I think that's 10 kilohertz. What have we got now? Yeah, 10 kilohertz. Uh, just change the time base a bit. Yeah, as you can see, it's still got the, the, the same amplitude. It seems to work quite well through throughout the operating range of the device. Um, <coughs> this is the actual device which I got off of AliExpress. It's the AD9833 um, I think they call it development module or something like that. Um, I found a page on the internet which gives the code for testing this and um, you know how to hook it up. So if you if you want to have a go yourself, I'll put a link to all that stuff in the description. I'm quite pleased with the results so far. Let me just show you one more thing. So um, let's go. Uh, the the bottom line then the, the type of waveform so we go O S T O S T comma we should have a triangle waveform now there we go ten kilohertz triangle and the square waveform <coughs> I'll just show you that as well. Um, OS, OSQ for that one. And there's your, there's your, um, there's your square wave. Oops, sorry about that. Um, 
this one. As you can see, you that's almost five volts. Four point four point eight <coughs> volts <coughs> peak to peak. So um <coughs> excuse me. If you were gonna like I'm planning to sort of like put this whole thing in a project box um, give it a bit more scope you know like uh, get all the outputs at the same level using a differential operational amplifier on the output and uh, you know a display a little um, what do you call them OLED little OLED display to um and a couple of buttons maybe a um <coughs> a uh one of those one of these things like on here it's not a potentiometer it's a uh, i can't remember the name of it but um <coughs> one of those to to make to make the adjustments gonna put that all in a project box and um like I say, um, I'm thinking maybe even get a couple of more of these modules um, so that I can actually um, <coughs> mix the signals and then I'll be able to produce complex waveforms. Um, it's, it's not a big, it's not a big range on this thing, you know, it's kind of like, it's not going much out you know, it's at like 12 and a half megahertz, but <coughs> I, I'm given to understand that when you get up to the top of its range, the signal isn't quite so clean. I'm I'm planning on using it like in the, up to the sort of two megahertz range. So I think it'll perform well for that. And it does seem to, hold a steady signal right down to one hertz so um, I think it, you can even program it like down to 0 0.1 hertz <coughs> so um, yeah it's pretty 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 neat really um, I won't try and explain all the connections to you it's far easier for you to to read it in black and white if you're interested and so I'll put a link in the description to I found this website that gives very concise information about setting this whole thing up and I, I just followed that so uh, yeah I hope it hope you you know if you're interested in this kind of thing I hope it's um, been helpful to you. God bless.